Maxi. Maxi, I have a question for you. Are you excited about the event today that we're going to? Do you even know that we're going to an event? No. You don't know what the event is? I told you you're going to come visit mom and papa at work. Remember? Okay, so what's going on today? We are getting ready for our first ever Creator Method event. Yes. In Miami. I am so excited. Thank you. You ready, babe? Yeah. Let's go get them. Oh, Steph, this is my wife, Valeria. Hi, this is your wife, Valeria. This is my wife, Valeria, yeah. Okay, we're going to run upstairs. We'll see you guys soon. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. You become like a real like, what? like a me. What do you mean? Like an always on. I am appreciating. No, I'm not always on actually. No. It's here, the starlight room. Here, take a left. Yeah. Hello. Hello. You filming us? We filming you? I'm filming you. I'm filming you too. Oh, that was a good one. And there's not another you in the world. The food has been good. Yeah, my phone, thank you. Okay, I have to say, the introvert is like popping up. I'm like, I feel like I need to run to the bathroom for like a little... Uh... A few moments later. <laughs> are you excited? Buse, you look so good. You look so handsome. No, no, no piggyback. It's so nice to meet people in real life, but then you see them and I feel like I'm just staring at everybody and everyone thinks I'm really weird. Um. Hi! I was waiting to see you. I didn't know if you were I know, I was like talking to everyone. I didn't want to like just come in. I'm so happy. It's so good to see you. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's honestly what I want to hear. We, I really wanted to create something that I wish I had when I started my journey. And uh, it's hard to find. It's hard to find this kind of support and open communication. And you know, you can ask a million questions and just someone that you can share kind of your journey with because everyone's in the same boat, you know? That really comes through. Like yeah, you well, are there for us. Yeah. It oh, really I'm comes so through. happy. Amazing. So happy. I'm glad we I'm glad you're here and we get to meet in person. So my name is Uldus and Mona Saeed. I actually have never met them before, so it's so nice seeing people in person. 
Valeria and Gary and just ever Rachel. Just so excited to meet everyone. And just meeting her today. Oh. <laughs> I love people here. I love to see people support towards each other, the synergy, the energy, the help, like to grow together. It's different. It's not like usual events. So I'm very excited about that. And yeah, everyone is so lovely, everyone is so kind, everyone is so supportive and that's a huge value in today's world and we share that together here. For me, I, I work 9 to 5 and my job is very technical but I'm a very creative person. So being surrounded by creative people, for me it was like really what took my content from not so great to like being so inspired to post every single day, engage and actually show up for myself and my followers and just like being surrounded by awesome people that genuinely like like care about about you it's really hard to find such a good community of people and like having everyone on the same page and have really really good heart and really come from a good place to help one another I'm Camilla I am Barbara this will be an interesting one for you so we are from Brazil yeah and we've just joined the program due to a friend who's here today so it's our first contact with everyone in the event and it's been amazing so far exactly i mean she, she's already part of it she also lives in brazil and she knew she could bring a plus one which became like a plus, plus two, two. <laughs> so this is our very first contact with contact with the program and we are so excited we flew all the way from brazil yeah. to this yeah it's so been it's been incredible. amazing yeah <laughs> It's been this reoccurring theme since Valeria started her career that she's always shocked and surprised at every step of the way. When we, I was telling a story earlier, um, when we went to uh, London uh, in 2019 and Valeria said, uh, uh, she didn't tell me about it and she went onto her Instagram stories and she wrote, uh, I'm gonna be in London, let's do a meetup. And her idea was that her and five of her um, community members would be meeting at Starbucks. And we had about 3,000 people submit uh, that they want to meet her. And then we ended up having to cap it at 300 people. And we got a venue uh, and hired security and got audio video and created content. You could see the vlog. Uh, and that's always been uh, the case with Valeria, where she's always been surprised at you know at at the things that we do and and you know and now I'm I'm the one who's surprised uh, so first of all I, I hope I've met all of you I I did my best to come and meet everyone um, if I haven't met you please come and let me know um, yeah I'm I'm really blown away guys I I honestly thought that maybe uh, I was kind of had I call it Valeria's modesty I had this feeling that you know five people who live in Miami are you know are going to come, and then of course you know uh, many of you flew from around the world as far as the United Kingdom. Uh, Bianca, who I just uh, had the pleasure of meeting in person, uh, Bra you know Brazil uh, through throughout where Brazil? Brazil, yes, yes, Brazil. We've got our we've got our Brazilian contingency. I, I just I just was that the wrong word contingency? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what is it contingent on? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm just, guys, I, I've been getting emotional. Uh, I, I cried with Bianca. I was, yeah, uh, you know. Um, I can't, I just, I can't believe it. This is, this moment right now is really the sum of all of the efforts that Valeria and myself and our team um, ha have put into this. Um, so I'm just, I'm just blown away. Uh, and I, I just want to thank you guys. Um, I want to, I want to tell a story that I actually mentioned on the, on the group call yesterday. And I, and I warned the people on that call that they'd be hearing the story again. Um, and I want to talk about, uh, something that happened, uh, yesterday morning when I took our son, Benjamin, uh, who's here right now. And I took him to play tennis. Um, <laughs> And I noticed that when we were playing tennis, and for the record, I don't play tennis, but I, I play enough that I can get the ball across to the other side of the court to make him run around. And I would, I would return the ball to him, and what I noticed is that he was only going after the balls that were within his immediate reach. And he wasn't running for, 
to try to return the ball back to me. So I stopped, I, I went to speak with him and I said, son, that's not how life works. You can't just go after and kind of, you know, go after the opportunities that are presented to you that are in easy reach. You have to run and go get those opportunities. You have to, you have to just, you have to put in effort. And really, like I said that to him and it was like a switch went off and then he started running and returning the ball. And to me, that is something that I realized in the moment that is, um, that is reflective of everything that we're doing here. And I wanna say that the people that are in this room who have made the effort to be here, um, you know, to this point, who've, who've become members of the community, who've spent their time following Valeria, consuming her content, you guys are going to where that ball is. So you, you guys should be, I'm impressed with you, the fact that you're taking this step, meaning if you're in this room, you're taking uh, this career seriously, you're taking this business seriously, you're taking yourself seriously, whether you're doing this for financial gain or whether you're doing this um, to, to fulfill yourself. So uh, you go, kudos to everyone here for going to where the opportunity is. Um, how are you feeling? I ran to the bathroom a couple of times just to like sit and take a breath. I'm not going to repeat what Gary said, but obviously we're both very overwhelmed. And it's, it is still blows my mind that I have a community um, online that, you know, reciprocates the love and attention that I put out there back to me. But this is, this is a whole other game. I want to really stress... Uh, the power of the relationships that you're forming with people in this community. So when we started this, I believed, um, we, we really took our time. And by the way, um, this, the reason why it took us as long as it did, we were ready years ago to create this. Uh, we were on the search for the, the correct person to basically, um, to, to, to run it, to organize it, who had both the technical skills and the project management skills, and that is Alex. Um, that's Alex. So thank you, Alex, thank you. I know that there's a lot of conversations of like AI coming in and robots taking over, and they will take over. The special sauce is that human connection. Don't underestimate the value of these relationships that you're forming in this room and the value that you're forming with the people that, you know, online and the additional events that we're going to have and all these interactions, this is critical. This is something, to Valeria's point, that she didn't have, that most people don't have initially. And I, I don't want to speak for all of you, but I'm guessing that most of you didn't have before this. So take this opportunity, don't trivialize it, um, and really double down on these relationships and be there for each other and, and support each other. So, thank you. On that note, um, do we have any questions? Anybody want to talk? Hi, I'm Jess. Um, so, I took a few weeks off from posting content just because I feel like I wasn't clear in my strategy. And now I have more of a clear strategy and I'm like kind of cringing at what I posted. Like, past, do I delete? No. Oh my God, don't. Don't at all. Because again, you are you are human and you're showcasing yourself and I love going back watching the cringiest videos that I used to edit. You guys, I don't think you understand what cringy is. I'm gonna send all of you a link to my Go first to YouTube video. Stuff. And I actually love seeing that. That connects me to you even more because I see the progress, I see the direction. So definitely not, don't do that. I'm scared to grow and to... Um, I'm scared to like grow and like earn and be, um, you know, successful just because it's like I don't want to diminish my partner or something like that. Like, how do you deal with that? Um, you let me talk. You let me talk to your partner. <laughs> <laughs> the Gary effect. Let me talk. To you. Did you did you ever have a conversation about? I, I understand your your concern. It's a very old school way. No, it's okay. Because it's it's here. Yeah. You know, you, you, you know where we're both from, both like pre-Soviet yeah. countries. So yeah, I, I, I understand the culture. I get it. Yeah. So what your your question your question is what should you? Can, I know that I can do a lot. Um, so that's the first thing. You know you can do it. Good. I know I can do it, but I just don't want to like you know be overshadow. Overshadow. Yeah. Have you talked to him about it? 
You have it? Why do you why do you assume? I know that he supports me. I have a boyfriend. He supports me. It's just um you know, it's just this maybe just the country that instills that in us mm. that the woman should not be something right. big and things like that. So first of all you need to talk to him because right now what I see that you're doing is you're making the assumption yeah. that he's not gonna be okay with it. And you're making the assumption on a macro cultural um, observation that you made on the culture as a whole mm-hmm. and people who were to look at me first of all people thought I was a lunatic when this whole thing started and I said we're going all in she thought I was a lunatic <laughs> so you <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, and it was very for people who look at, at, at us um, we have a big age difference. I'm I, I'm older, and, um, <laughs> and, and sorry, I don't mean I don't mean to I don't mean You're to. I, yeah, I apologize. I apologize. People would have assumed that I would be the same way. You're making the assumption for your partner, so first go and talk to him. And I think first of all, you'd be pleasantly surprised because if he's the right partner. If he's the well, yeah, I want to see. Yeah. you'll be pleasantly surprised because. Because he very well may be, you just said he's supportive. He, he, he may not feel threatened by it. For you to make the assumption that he is, is premature. Go talk to him, and before you've made the decision that you have a problem, find out if you have a problem. Because I don't know that you have a problem yet. I think also the larger, larger conversation is like what's going on within you. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like limitations that you put on yourself. So you're saying that you believe you can do it and you're finding an external reason why you can't do it. Um, I think to Rachel's point, this is a great conversation to have because this is also a great way to see if this is the person you want to spend your life with. Because you don't want to be with somebody that is scared of how large you can be, right? You have one life to live. You want to make sure that you do the most. So you got work to do, girl. (laughs) You're always focused. Try my best haircut in the game. I love it. I love you, man. Me too. Likewise. Dude, I'm overwhelmed, man. I'm about to cry. Don't don't ask me. I'm a grown man, and I'm gonna go into tears. It's not, you know. It's insane to see how people travel here. No, no, it's wild. So connected. Honestly, like I knew the numbers coming in. I knew how many people are gonna be here, but it's very different when you actually meet people in person. Think to yourself, give you, make a list of all of the things that you're interested in, and then, and then narrow the, that list by all of the things you're good at. The things you're interested in and are not good at, you can experiment later once you've got some scale with. So good at, what does it mean, that gets more views and like, attracts more audience, or good at that, like, that's my expertise? That's your expertise. What do you think about the whole thing about deleting the followers that are no longer, there's some oh, users yeah. that are just like mm-hmm. cleaning up Instagram actually has it if you go to I forgot where it is specifically but there's some on your account that you could go that it I forgot what they call it it's something like inactive accounts and you can actually purge them like in Instagram in, something yeah yeah something like that um, we if you can maybe share that in the whatsapp group maybe a screenshot of where it is mm-hmm. but you you can like I, I wouldn't do it necessarily yourself what I do do is I often like I do it manually for Valeria's account is I'll go in and if there's just like, a lot of the time she gets tagged in really weird stuff. Um, so I just like really strange stuff. And it's just spam, it's people who foolishly think that they're gonna gain audience by, by tagging other people with large accounts. And I just go in and delete and block them. So when somebody kind of, you know, puts up their hand to say, hey, I'm, you know, 
I shouldn't really be here, but I'm here. I just block them. Spam message. Yeah. from like, you started this as an idea and now you have a ton of people flying in from everywhere, all over the world. Look, for me, this is honestly the most fulfilling project I've been involved with. Um, to me, this is like the culmination of the last eight years of building Valeria's personal brand and being able to transfer what we've done with Valeria's social media and Valeria's personal brand to inspire these women. It's, yeah, it, it, to, to me, it's, far exceeded my expectations. I love it here. I see so many uh, amazing ways that this community will continue to grow and evolve and, uh, and just be a source of inspiration and support. And we, just the amount of businesses that will be built out of all the women that were in the room and the amount of impact that's gonna happen. I mean, that's what I'm very excited about. And we're just getting started. This yeah. is the first yeah. event and I can, I. I, I really feel just judging by the reaction and the response uh, from our members, especially the ones who are here in person, I just, I see this just becoming a movement um, mm. because I feel this is really, really helping. Uh, it's really helping people. Can you start with your name? What is it? My name is Denis Alpaslan. And my name is Angelina Anikina. So... How was your experience with today's event? How did you feel? How was the community? I love it. I think it's very nice, beautiful, talented, and professional woman here. I'm so glad to be here. I'm so happy. So for me, it was also very inspirational. And I was thinking long time about this business to build a personal brand. So today I have no questions. I have to, I have to do it with this program with guys. and. Thank you for this event, it was awesome. I've joined the Creator Method in May and I've been growing my account since then and I've been having so much support from the community and it helps me so much. Hey.